So tell me, why should we not hire you? Huh? Why should you not hire me? Mm. Or given the chance, I would prove it to you through my hard work and excellence. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss K Chris. And today we have another question that we are going to answer for you. Why should we not hire you? Okay, if you're ready for that, just keep on watching. So today, we are gonna answer this very confusing, this very surprising question which happened way back in 2007 a lot of recruiters use this question when they are hiring for PAL and Cebu Pacific I think so yeah how do we tackle this question why should we not hire you okay I'm going right into the tips and uh, all the reasons why they ask you this question on this video okay, i'm gonna talk to you about why this answer this question and how to overcome this question and a sample answer of course coming to you but i'm gonna do a book shout out first so this one is from ray rain or what's her name rain okay so she said um hi miss k chris finally got your book Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you so much, Rain, for sending me this photo. And we also have, ooh, a very handsome aspirant. His name is Mark. Thank you, Mark, for sending me a photo of you and the book. Shout out to you, Mark. Mimi Galanto. Okay, so she mentioned me on her um, Instagram stories. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for getting the book. If you are interested in getting your copy it's available on my website it's available for shipping worldwide anywhere you are in the world and as well as if you are interested it's also available in shopee.ph for cash on delivery so let's get right into it why should we not hire you in my workshop I, I will be discussing the different types of interview questions and one of them is the surprise type of question and this question is one of the example of that so by the way my workshop is happening on March 2 if you want to join the class you should reserve your slot now okay so it's going to be in Greenbelt 1 at Max's restaurant at 1 o'clock in the afternoon so that's gonna be a Saturday if you want to join that check out the links below so on surprise types of questions there is actually usually no correct answers during this ones because the surprise types of questions want to ascertain what type of character you have what type of person you are when you are failing are you gonna be an angry person because you're failing or are you gonna be the one who's trying to reason your way out of it or are you gonna be the one who will laugh at yourself or you know or are you gonna be the one who's gonna be uh frozen and like no reaction <laughs> okay so surprise types of questions are designed to figure out what type of person you are you know uh, what type of logic you have and how quick you are how quick you are in thinking what to do next or how quick you are on your feet way to overcome this question is stick to an answer stick to a logic and try to you know explain why you think this is the answer okay stick to stick to a reason or a way of thinking it's your logic you know just follow your logic and then Try to defend why you think that is the answer or why you think it will work out that way. Take refuge in the fact that there is really no correct answer on this one. Okay, it's not a specific fill in the blank answer. You can be as creative as you are in answering questions like this, and um, you are going to be judged on how you handle failing, how you handle failure. So you always have so keep in mind that you always have to be still composed you know still have a smile on your face are you gonna charm your way out of it or are you going to logic your way out of it okay so there are so many things that you can do on surprise questions and um, some other examples of surprise questions are like just super impossible um, uh, if the sky is falling would it be would it be 
falling with snails or will it be falling with umbrellas things like that you know so not, there's no right or wrong answer just have to choose one path and then defend it so that's how you handle surprise types of questions so now for our sample answer this is how i'm going to answer it if it were me so tell me why should we not hire you huh why should you not hire me um, i am the kind of person who believes in himself and doing the best in any undertaking so when i came here for the interview this morning i truly believe that i have what it takes to become a cabin crew I have prepared myself a hundred percent for this day and I have made sure that I have the skills the experience and the right character that will best fit this job so I honestly cannot tell you why you should not hire me right now because I am a true believer of myself and I am confident that I can do this job if you would give me the chance I would like to tell you why I am fit for this job instead so that's how I would answer it I know it's a little bit cheeky it takes you need to have the personality to be able to do it I think but I think it's not too aggressive another way to answer this question is you could go from an angle that you are not a perfect person but then still in the end say that however I truly believe that I have what it takes to do this job right and given the chance uh, it will be your best decision ever or given the chance I would prove it to you through my hard work and excellence right so being uh, in this position it's kind of a little bit awkward because you have to do a u-turn of the conversation it is going negative so you have to turn it into positive and in the end selling yourself because at the end of the day it's an interview you have to sell yourself you don't tell your customer all the bad reviews about you or the bad things about you because you are just showing them that you think that way or you think bad of yourself or you think negative or any situation and then you know this is your chance to show them that you're a positive person and this is your chance to tell them that whatever complaints or negative goes in your way you can turn it into positive because of the way you handle this question okay I'm sure there are many other ways to handle this question if you have suggestions on how to do it put it on the comments down below and help out the other applicants guys wow. check out my workshop guys it's happening on March 2 here on Greenbelt 1 at Max's restaurant it's gonna be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon so make sure that you enroll yourselves there if you are going to apply for the flight attendant job it's gonna benefit you a lot to attend one of my workshops because guys the competition in the Philippines is too stiff okay too stiff so it's like a beauty pageant slash PBB competition and yeah in my workshop um, it's called the interview success workshop we are going to practice how to answer questions I'm gonna give you the tools that you need to be able to come up with the answers yourself so you don't have to search these answers on the internet anymore <laughs> I'm kidding so yeah uh, I'm going to teach you more about how to formulate your own answers how to how to structure them so that you would position yourself in the pos best possible light on the interview okay so if you are interested in something like that check out the link below it's going to be there um, your enrollment form and enroll for this workshop and I will see you guys there and yeah I would really appreciate it as well if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet been already subscribed live with you soon bye a matter of um, the way to <laughs> Me very shouting.